What's up, everybody? This is your August 2023 real estate market update. We're going to go through the detached and the attached separately. And then I also have um, individual zips. I can go through any zip in the county that you want to see. So text me, message me, harass me, stalk me. Let me know what zip you're interested in and I'll break it down. So it's really more of the same right now. Uh, there are some interesting things that we'll go through quickly. So higher mortgage rates, elevated sales prices, prices aren't coming down, lack of housing inventory, average 30 year fixed has remained above six and a half percent since May and uh, existing home sales have continued to slow down nationwide. So in interesting stat on that coming up also. Um, lastly here, Falling home sales have done little to cool home prices, uh, which have continued to sit at record high levels nationally, thanks to a limited supply of homes for sale. So first we're going to go through the detached. Pendings, closed, new listings were all down between 20 and 35%, approximately 34%. And again, this is detached for the entire county, if, if I didn't make that clear. The median sales price is at a record high. 1,025,000. Now check this out. 13 and a half percent year over year. That's crazy. Well, if you look back at August, which is this block right here, which is not even the low, by the way, the low was December, but year over year, we are 13 and a half percent up median sales price. So the high if, if I can count my months backwards, August, July, June, May, April. So we peaked in April. And now check this out. We're peaking right now. Or I think we're peaking, but I mean, you see what I'm going. So 13.5% year over year. That's like, that's nuts. Just a couple months ago, we were like 2% up year over year. So I find that fascinating. And the attach is very similar. So percentage of original list price received right at hundred percent. So essentially on average, what homeowners are going to market to what price they're essentially getting that exact amount, almost right on the dot, right at list prices is the amount that they're going into contract for accepting an offer days on market, 25 days, three and a half, just a little over three and a half weeks. That's a heavy seller's market down 10% since this time last year. Affordability index is 26. Very low. I actually have a doc. I don't have it up on my screen, but I have a doc that explains exactly what the affordability index is. If you can bear with me for one second, this is coming straight off of National Association of Realtors. So let's just go through this first one. So what the affordability index is, it measures whether or not a typical family, we'll talk about in a second, could qualify for a mortgage on a typical home. Well, a typical family, second bullet point, is defined as one earn, earning the median family income. Okay, median family income is what they're earning. It's a typical family. And a typical home, as you would have guessed, is defined as the national median priced existing single family home. So... That's what that means. But, but that number, that 26, is based off of this. So to interpret the indices, a value of 100 means that a family with a median income has exactly enough to qualify for a mortgage on a median price home, assuming right, right here a 20% down payment. So that's what that means. 26 is the lowest I've ever seen it. Doesn't surprise me being that prices have continued to escalate and so have rates. So of course, affordability index is gonna go in the opposite direction. Uh, inventory for homes is 3,100. Again, this is just detached. The total inventory is gonna be closer to 5,000, high fours, and month supply of inventory is at 2.6. It's good that we're up 30%. doesn't surprise me though, because the market has slowed down in terms of new listings, pendings, and close. It's all down between 19 and a half, 34%. Month supply of inventory is up 2.6. So it's still a heavy seller's market. Anything less than four months supply is going to be a seller's market. And I'll quickly go through the attached here. It's kind of more of the same. We're down 
new listings, pennings, close. Median sales price for all attached, which is condos and townhomes, is is up eight and a half percent year over year. Uh, we're also at a hundred percent, basically 101 for percentage of original list price received. Days on market is even lower, right? Because the because the affordability is going to be higher, right? On an attached condo or townhome, the median sales price is lower. So that's what you'd expect. It's a, it's a hotter market, the condos and townhomes. And the inventory is actually less in terms of month supplies at 2.2, whereas we're at 2.6 for single family. So it's tough right now. I think that's, and I, and I am seeing that too. Condos and townhomes are flying like hotcakes. Uh, if I scroll down here to the bottom, we go to the entire county averages. Yeah, 2.4. There's our homes for sales, 4,600. So, oh, check this out. I figured out, this only took me an hour, but I figured out how to get my lower thirds on the screen. That's, there's my number if you have any questions. Uh, again, if, you, if there's a specific zip that you want to see anywhere in San Diego County, I'll break this down to the nth degree. So it's, it's just, it's, it's really insightful. It's good data. If you guys have any questions, give me a buzz and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.